significant development in the realm of international student visa. Australia hikes student visa fees. Are costlier visas the new strategy for immigration control? Hello and welcome to Immigration and Jobs Talk Show. I'm your host, Napasa Pradhan. And today we'll delve into this topic to understand its implications and potential impacts on students and immigration policies. Global. Australia High Student Visa Fee In a recent move to control record migration and addressing the housing market pressure, Australia has significantly increased the visa fee for international students. Starting July 1, the student visa fee has been raised from 710 to 1600 Australian dollars, a staggering 125% hike. This makes applying for a student visa in Australia much more expensive compared to US and Canada, where fees are approximately $185 and $150 Canadian dollars, which is $110 respectively. Key points. The fee increase is part of broader efforts to manage immigration more effectively and securely. Concurrently, Australia has closed several loopholes that allow students and other temporary visa holders to extend their stay indefinitely, ending the practice known as visa hopping. This move follows official data showing a 60% increase in net immigration, reaching a record 548,800 people in the year leading up to September 30, 2023. The number of students on second or subsequent visa rose by over 30%, totaling over 150,000 in 2022-23. This strategy is not unique to Australia. For instance, the UK has visa fees to fund public services. Since October last year, the UK has increased the cost of visas for students, skilled workers and other immigrants. The Immigration Health Surcharge for international students has been raised from £776 to £1,035 per year. And visa fees for tourists and, work and workers have also seen significant hikes. Similarly, the European Commission increased the cost for Schengen visas effective June 11, 2024. The Schengen visa fees now stand at €90 Euros for adults and €45 Euros for children. This adjustment is part of efforts to maintain the efficiency and quality of visa processing services, meeting the rising demand for Schengen visas and ensuring a high level of security. While high visa fees can reduce the number of immigrants, they are often part of a broader immigration policy framework. Governments use visa fees to manage and control the immigration process effectively and securely. The intent behind high fees may not always be to curb immigration, but to regulate the flow of immigrants, prioritize certain types of immigrants, and generate revenue for funding public services. In conclusion, the hike in student visa fees in Australia and similar moves in other countries reflect a strategic approach to managing immigration. While these measures may make it more challenging for prospective students and immigrants, they are aimed at ensuring an efficient, secure and sustainable immigration process. What do you think about this strategy? Do you believe higher visa fees are an effective tool for immigration control or do they pose unnecessary barriers for international students? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this discussion informative, like, share and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest episodes. Thank you for watching Immigration and Jobs Talk Show. I'm Napasa Pradhan signing off for now. Have a great day ahead, everyone. Are you an IT consultant seeking a new opportunity? We offer job placement services for U.S. citizens, green cards, EADs, and visa holders. We also sponsor various work visas like H-1B, E3, TN, and green cards. 20-plus years of experience in the industry. Exceptional employee benefits. Highly rated by our employees. Global presence with 200-plus recruiters and direct clients. Connect with us. Call us on the number. 833-412-8472 or mail us at support at higheritpeople.com or visit our website www.higheritpeople.com